We've gotten Scarlet Spiders from Hasbro before, but is this the best one? What is good, my peeps? It's The Ruck is back at you again with another action figure review. This time, we're going to start a new series of figure reviews with the Spider-Man retro and semi-retro line of figures. Retro, semi-retro, because they're all on the uh, retro card backs. Some pay homage to the uh, Spider-Man cartoon from the 90s and others have the more uh, modern take for some of the uh, newer characters. We're kicking it off with Scarlet Spider since that is the most in demand out of all of them. And uh, yeah, so you see what we got going on. He comes with a couple sets of uh, hands besides what he's equipped with on body. You see the uh, artwork to our left and the Spider-Man logo above. Then we get to the rear and you see some more artwork and you of course have a uh, little bio. You also have a sketch on of course how to uh, uh, implement, install the extra set of hands. And uh, that's how it goes down like that. Now we've got our Scarlet Spider out of uh, the blister card and uh, we give you a 360 degree visual of the figure. It is on the Renew Your Vows buck, so you know we're gonna get all the uh, articulation that we can possibly ask for at this time. We're collectors, we're greedy, we're gonna find something else we want. Anyway, you see what's going on. This is classic Scarlet Spider. This isn't the first time that we've gotten Scarlet Spider Ben Riley in um, uh, Legends, Marvel Legends figure form, but uh, because this particular one is on the Renew Your Vows buck, you can best believe this will be the best that, we, uh, that we've gotten. As I stated in the opener, we saw it in the packaging. Our Scarlet Spider comes with two additional sets of hands. Out of packaging, it comes with punchers, but we also get the whippers and we get crawlers so we got uh, what we need there of course that's all we got no uh, no web strands or anything like that so uh, you'll have to improvise on your own when it comes to that as far as the figure itself is concerned like I said we're on the uh, the renew your vows or ultra posable spidey buck we just got through seeing this buck not too long ago in the form of uh, the uh, VHS series Daredevil. And uh, so we know what to expect again with this. Only this with this particular figure, if you recall when I mentioned Daredevil before, one thing that Daredevil did not have was a notch in the back of the uh, neck. So that made the, uh, the range for articulation of the head limited. This one, it could look up a little bit better than Daredevil could. We'll see if that helps with uh, that uh, the crouching pose. He can look down, which is cool. So we got that going on. And, of course, we've got the butterfly joints. So, you know, I've got to do the rear back and then the clasp. And that's what we got going on there. Of course, we're pinless all around. You already knew that going in, and uh, one good thing about uh, Pinless with this particular figure is the knees and the elbow joints actually uh, more or less match up. It's a little bit difference in color, but uh, not it's not crazy noticeable, so that's cool. We've got a uh, free-floating belt here that's got, uh, I'm assuming those are web cartridges, to go along with his Audis, his Audi uh, web cartridges, as you see there. And then, of course, we've got the hood. Blue, got the Spidey logo on there. We've got uh, white drawstrings with tassels 
on the end. So that's some nice attention to detail, uh, a la Hasbro. Then, of course, the head sculpt. We've got the uh, the eyes looking pretty nice, and I'm looking to see how good they look, how clean they are, and they are they are pretty clean. And here we go. That notch in the back of the neck definitely gives just a little bit more range. So when you uh, pose your uh, your Scarlet Spider in this instance, you can get him to uh, you know kind of sort of look up. You're going to have to make sure that uh, you've got the uh, arms and legs uh, in the right positions as well, or else he'll still look like he's, um, you know, looking at the ground. Here's a shot of our Scarlet Spider, along with the Renew Your Vows Spider-Man from the uh, two-pack that also had uh, the Mary Jane Spinneret figure in it. And now we've got Scarlet Spider alongside Big Head, uh, excuse me, Ben Riley, Spider-Man, who's also on the Renew Your Vows buck. And here we have Scarlet Spider next to his current incarnation of Chasm. And uh, Chasm is not on the Renew Your Vows buck. I believe that's the Spidey 2099 buck. Somebody let me know in the comment section below. So, in summary, the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Retro Series Scarlet Spider, Ben Riley, with the blue hoodie on the Renew Your Vows buck. That's the key right there. Nothing more really needs to be said when you have that. It looks, uh, you know, we've gotten Scarlet Spider, Ben Riley version in uh, figure form before. But this is our first time getting it on the Ultra Posable Buck. And um, that is a great thing. You can get him in some cool poses. You can get him to crouch. That's something that uh, most collectors would love to get their Spidey figures in a crouch. Get them down, whether it's with one hand, two hands, whatever. And you can accomplish that. You can achieve that with this particular figure. I'm very happy about that. And... Um, yeah, it looks like uh, we're just moving on down the line, getting our uh, past Spidey figures in uh, this uh, with this buck. So, you know, we've gotten Ben in his original costume is on the Renew Your Vows buck. Obviously, it got kicked off with Renew Your Vows, Peter Parker. And uh, so that is definitely great. We've gotten a couple daredevils that way. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, we have the uh, female equivalent in the Black Widow, which is the best female buck we've ever gotten to this point. Hopefully that will continue as well. And uh, I'd like for this channel to continue. So what I need for you guys to do is to go below and uh, leave your comments on what you think about Scarlet Spider here, uh, the channel, whatever you want to talk about. And uh, while you're down there, give a thumbs up, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, hit that notification bell so you can be informed when I upload another video. This is one down in our series right now of reviews for the uh, Spider-Man Retro slash Neo Retro cards. We're going to go through them all and uh, that's how it gets done.